Hey guys, so I wanted to show you a garden update of some of the things that I did over the past two days. Um, the progress is not what I wanted it to be. I keep getting chased out by the rain. Fortunately, we have some really rainy weather right now. Um, but I still did get some of the beds done and I kind of want to show you the process of what's going on. Before I do that, however, I want to give a, a little wax poetic moment. Um, before I've been leaving these at the end of the video and then I realized it dawned on me that uh, we live in an instant gratification culture. We have a 15 second attention span. So anyone that is watching this video, I highly doubt they're making it past 15 seconds. So putting it at the end of the video is starting to make less sense. Uh, one, so one thing that I want to talk about is why this project is so important to me this year. Um, this is a recovery process for me. So last year I was really sick. Um, I went through some traumatic things and one of the medications that they had me on was pretty potent. It, um, it caused a lot of bone pain, a lot of arthritic pain, um, weakness. I was always fatigued. Um, and it, you know, you lose your taste of, you lose your taste, you lose your smell, you lose your appetite. Um, and you, I lost a lot of my memory. I lost my muscle memory. Um, and I was just really weak. So this project, getting out there and doing this and getting up and building this is my recovery process and me getting stronger every day. It is my sign that this is over. And part of me feels like if I can accomplish this, I'm good. And that this is over and I can keep moving forward. And that is the goal, I think, with anybody who goes through anything in life is moving forward is a really big thing. Having the strength to move forward and remembering to keep getting up and keep doing it every day. With all that being said, I mentioned that I lost my sense of taste and smell. Um, I was really tired. And before I got sick, I used to try to eat food that was as fresh as possible. I tried to really cook everything from scratch. I started getting into baking with sourdoughs. I started getting into fermenting. I just, I wanna eat wholesome food and I wanna eat food that tastes good. Um, I started gardening and everything I tasted in the garden, it just tasted so much different from things in the grocery store. It, it became an addiction. It really, it really did. And um, so with being sick last year, I actually, I gained a lot of weight and it's not something that I was used to. I never really had a problem with that. I think just because of how active I normally am and I'm actually coming up on a vacation here pretty soon and I am saying goodbye to processed food. So, um, I'm going to chart that journey with you guys. I didn't think I was going to, cause I was a little embarrassed. Um, nobody wants to admit like, Hey, I'm a little chunky. I need to lose some weight, but <laughs> I had, um, a coworker said that I, I should put that online and I think that it's a good idea and not even for the idea of losing weight or anything else but for the idea of how I feel how wholesome the food is and what you can really do with everything that you get from the garden now another thing that kind of stems off of that is I mentioned to somebody you know she, she's into artistic things and she said that I said, you should really post like tutorials about how you do things and blah, blah, blah. And she said, I don't really want to do that because I don't want this person or that person or this person to make fun of me. She didn't want to add fuel to the fire. And I kind of responded with a like, why do you really care what those people think about you? Like you're happy doing what you're doing. So those people, they're just miserable in their own lives. So they, they pick on you and they really have no reason to. And that's unfortunately the way that the world works. Um, so, I had a video that I posted a couple days ago and towards the end of the video, um, I looked at myself in the video and for the first time I didn't want to post something um, because I was embarrassed about my weight and I realized that it wasn't really a big deal. So I can have, like I'm fine going out and being covered in sweat, my hair is a mess, I'm, I'm covered in dirt, I'm not wearing any makeup and I'll post a video but I have a video where I think I look a little tubby and I don't want to put it online. It, it, it really makes no sense. And it, it boils down to the idea of we spend too much time, too much time thinking about A, how we look. I mean, you should look healthy. You shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't think about how you look for the idea of being attractive. You should, if you're a healthy individual, usually in general, you're gonna have a cleaner appearance because your body is responding better. Um, but the other thing is we care a little too much about what people think about us. So that night I posted the video online and I went to bed and I didn't check for any responses and I didn't think about it. And I thought about it the next day and I thought, you know, even if I post this video on my, on my website or on my Facebook for the, the garden, who cares if nobody likes it? 
it's my process. This is my process of healing and I'm just willing to share it with the world. And I think that the things that we do, if you guys enjoy it and it's what makes you happy, no matter who you are or what you look like, it, share that with the world. Somebody else is gonna like it too. Be somebody else's inspiration. Um, it, even if nobody gets inspired, I mean, this is my story. Even if I'm not posting it, I, I just like the idea of being able to journal and use these tools and this technology that we have available in order to just chart my progress and how I'm becoming better from the things that I'm doing. And I hope that that, that hits some people in the heart, you know, just because somebody else is miserable with themselves doesn't mean that they have to hate on you for what you look like or who you are or what you do in your spare time. Even if you're, you're good or bad at it, it doesn't matter. You, just enjoy your life. And one of the other things is that life is always evolving. So if somebody is going to watch one of my videos and they're going to judge me for the way that I am now, that's not who I'm going to be in six months, in a year, in five years, in 10 years. There, there's nothing constant in life other than change. Change is the only consistency that we have in life. And I just, I think that we need to realize that even if we're showing the evolution of a process, I mean, the embarrassing stuff starts at the beginning. <laughs> Let's just be honest. So with that being said, I'm gonna post a couple videos that I took earlier out in the garden. Um, and, and like I said, progress isn't that great. It, unfortunately, Mother Nature wasn't on my side these past couple days, but that doesn't mean that I'm not making progress. That doesn't mean that I'm not getting stronger. And it doesn't mean that I'm not willing to share that with the world. So I hope you guys have a good night. I don't even know what day of the week it is. I, I know that I work tomorrow. That's about it. So whatever day of the week it is, enjoy your evening. Surprised that I actually managed to get this done on my own. I thought it was going to need a second set of hands, and I didn't. And I'm impressed. But it was a lot of work. It's like CrossFit. The boards are heavy. So I'm going to poke a couple holes in the plastic, just small ones, and then I'm going to put a layer of rock down at the bottom. And I'm not going to put rock in every bed right now, only because I couldn't find enough of it. And they told me they're getting another shipment this weekend, so I'm going to go back and pick up more. Um, but I got 12 bags of rock and I figured out that was enough for me to see how much I need to put in the bottom of each bed just to have a small layer for some drainage. Okay, so six is the magic number. Now, if you look, this is one layer of stone. All this is gonna do is create some space at the bottom of the soil beds so that if I get, like yesterday, we had a lot of heavy rain for about two hours, that flash flooding is gonna turn this into a giant mud box. It's gonna be a big puddle and it's gonna take forever to, um, to dry out. We actually did that with the first garden beds. We had to dig up all the soil because it was mud everything was dying of diseases we had to dig up all the soil and we had to put in pvc pipe and stone because those beds are so long but since these beds are shorter they're not going to have as much soil in them if i poke some holes in the bottom just to let moisture escape um, and then like over here where the pooling is i am going to poke holes in the mulch eventually so that can escape as well and then this stone will just create enough space at the bottom of the soil so that the roots aren't sitting in mud rotting basically
So I got rained out again, just like yesterday. I looked at the weather online, everything said it wasn't gonna rain here until five o'clock. And then all of a sudden I looked up and I was just surrounded by a circle, Ugh. but I came in when I did, of black clouds. <laughs> um, but what you guys didn't see, because I brought my phone inside, was that I stayed out there long enough to finish those beds. And the reason why I came in was because I'm pretty sure the drill's not waterproof. Um, so I think I got shut down for the rest of the day. So I am sitting inside refusing to get in the shower and I am staring out there at this little tiny clear spot in the sky and I am hoping that that's gonna come this way and I am gonna get out there just long enough to make at least one more bed <laughs> before the end of the day. Um, I can hear so much thunder off in the distance, it's probably not gonna happen. I just hope.